MMA Talk viewers, we've got some cool news. Tomorrow we will be chatting with the legendary Suga Rashad Evans. We wouldn't be where we are today without your feedback, interactions, and questions. You guys are some of the realest, smartest, and funny people. And for that reason, if you'd like to take a deeper dive into how the mind of this champion works, drop some questions below. UFC 271 did not go as planned for Derek Brunson as he suffered a vicious knockout loss delivered by Jared Cannonier. Shortly following the crushing defeat, Brunson took to Twitter with the following statement for his fans. Here's what he wrote. Made a title push, number three versus four in the world. I came up short, life lessons, I'm all good. Sad, but life will give you these moments. I'll pick myself up for one more fight. Blessings all. The absence of fan favorite commentator Joe Rogan loomed large over UFC 271. At the post-fight press conference, Dana White said reports of Rogan having a scheduling conflict are untrue and that Rogan could have worked the event had he wanted to. Check out what he said. Right, so last thing I would ask, you couldn't help but notice the chance of Joe Rogan throughout the night. There was some yeah. vocal support. I guess, what can you say about his absence? I know there was a, a line that it was a conflict of schedule, but I don't think many people were, were nope. buying into that. There's no conflict of schedule. Joe Rogan, Joe Rogan didn't work tonight. Joe Rogan could have worked tonight. Rogan, he, he elect, did he elect not to? Yeah, yeah, Joe Rogan had, I don't know what Joe Rogan had to do. You guys will have to ask Joe Rogan, but... Um, you know, Joe, there was no Joe couldn't work or, or anything like that. I know that came out. It's total bullshit. Okay. So you expect him back in March yeah. in Vegas? Whenever he's going to work again, he'll be working, yeah. Speaking to UFC News, Israel Adesanya reacted to his fifth title defense. Check out what he said. Uh, later rounds, the later rounds. Earlier on, I was on the later rounds. Um, I have to watch the tape again. That's how I really assess it. I'm, everything's still fresh. I haven't had my moment to myself. So yeah, at the moment, seven out of ten. I, I, it always looks better than I than I think it does. When I look at it on TV, I'm like, damn. Okay, then I, I might change the score. But right now, seven out of ten. Nah, no, no, this guy, I was always on. I was always on because he he's dangerous. Yeah, my last opponent wasn't as dangerous as I. As I feel but this guy is dangerous so I was always on I was always making sure I keep him at bay uh, I wasn't frustrated I was just making sure just to stay safe um, make sure I don't get caught doing something crazy get caught chasing him I heard he thought he won the fight and I'm like what the f are you sipping maybe he and Victoria were sipping the same wine Paula Costa was sipping I don't know what the 
now. Yeah, nah. Well, Rob, nah. I just said, like, look, I don't like you, but I respect you as a fighter. And he said the same thing. So we're like, cool. We, we're feel feelings mutual. Just business as usual, if I'm being honest. Business as usual. This is just another title defense. My fifth title dis defense. Um, so, yeah, it's five time. Five time. Five time. Five time. Five time UFC champion. I've matured a lot. I've matured a lot, and I know how to protect my energy a lot better. Um, I've got an after party, but I just go there, get paid, and I get the f out. And I'm gonna go have my shower so I can build my own thoughts and assess everything. Nate Diaz has not competed since UFC 263, where he suffered a unanimous decision loss to Leon Edwards in a welterweight bout. Now, Nate Diaz has his sights set on the former interim lightweight champion, Dustin Poirier. Although both men have expressed their respective interest in the fight, Dana White and company have yet to make it official. Diaz, who has one fight left on his current UFC deal, recently revealed to TMZ Sports that he plans to retire from MMA after fighting Dustin the Diamond Poirier. I would like to fight Dustin Poirier like now, like I've been trying to. If there's any mix up, it's him and them and the game. I want the fight now. What's up, Dana White? Let's get with this retirement fight cracking so I can get out of this fight game. I'm done with it. During UFC 271's press conference, Dustin Poirier shared his thoughts on the Nate Diaz fight. Here's what he said. I think there's a good chance it's gonna happen. Um, I think summer is probably a, a good target, you know, if I would put one on a calendar, but I, I, I'm not sure. But I have a good feeling it's gonna happen. I'm not sure if I'm going to stay at 170 pounds, but this fight makes sense. He's a guy, I just want to be in fights that uh, mean something to me. Nate's a guy I grew up watching fight. I respect him and his brother. I think the stylistically, it's going to be fun for the fans. This is a fight of the year type of fight. And uh, those are the kind of fights I want to be part of. He, he did say earlier in an interview that the UFC was still playing around and he, he can't seem to get the fight signed, but he said he wants it to be his retirement fight. Uh, I'm not sure if you believe that or what are your thoughts on that? I don't believe that. Nate, he's got that dog in him. He's going to fight forever, you know. Uh, we'll see what happens, but I believe he has a lot of fight left in him, you know, but no telling what his plans are and, and you know, his exit game or whatever's going on. But I want the fight, and I, and I think he wants it as well. What do you guys think about a Dustin Poirier versus Nate Diaz fight? Leave your thoughts below. Former teammates Colby Covington and Dustin Poirier have always shared a contentious relationship. So much so that a fight between the two would make a lot of sense. However, the Diamond has declared that if such a fight were to take place, it would not be inside the octagon. In a recent interview with media at the Toyota Center in Houston, Poirier declared that he was not open to fighting Covington under the UFC promotional banner. No, I'll never fight Colby Covington in an octagon where there's finances on the line. If I'm fighting Colby, we're both going to jail. I'm going to jail. I'm not going to fight him in an octagon. He's not making money off of my career and what I've done. This is something different, you know? You will never see me fight Colby Covington in the UFC. If you want your meme to be included in our next video, Go to MMAMemes.com and create your own meme. The top three memes will be placed at the end of our video. Thank you guys for watching. If you liked the video, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel to keep up with the latest MMA news.